beneath the sparkling blue waters of the Pacific Ocean, where the sunlight barely reaches, there lies a secret that few people know about. It's not a shipwreck or buried treasure. It's a volcano. But wait, how can a volcano live under the sea? Volcanoes are supposed to be on land, right? Well, today, we're going to dive into this underwater mystery and find out. A long time ago, before you were born and even before dinosaurs roamed the Earth, our planet was very different. Imagine Earth as a giant ball, with its outside like a chocolate shell and its insides full of melted goo, like warm lava cake. Sometimes cracks form in that chocolate shell, especially at the bottom of the sea. And when they do, the melted goo, called magma, pushes up, trying to escape. That's how underwater volcanoes are born. They're just like the ones on land, but instead of spewing lava into the air, they send it bubbling up through the ocean. One of the most amazing underwater volcanoes is called Kavachi. It lives in the Solomon Islands, far, far away from where most of us live. Kavachi is special because it's alive. Not alive like you and me, but alive because it's always changing and growing. Sometimes it sleeps quietly under the water, and other times it wakes up with a boom, sending hot lava and bubbles into the deep sea. It's like a dragon taking a nap and then roaring awake. But here's the twist. Kavachi is not just a volcano. It's also home to some very surprising guests. You'd think that no one could live near a fiery, bubbling volcano, right? It's super hot and full of chemicals that would make most sea creatures swim far away. But scientists discovered something incredible. Sharks. That's right. Sharks, along with other fish, actually live around Kavachi. Imagine a family of sharks cruising around a volcano as if it's their cozy home. How do they survive? That's still a mystery, even for the smartest scientists. Every time Kavachi erupts, it changes the underwater world around it. Lava cools into new rock, creating little underwater mountains. These become homes for coral, which are like tiny underwater builders. Coral make colorful reefs where fish, crabs, and sea turtles can live and play. So, in a way, Kavachi isn't just a volcano. It's also a creator, building new habitats for ocean creatures. And here's the coolest part. The very islands we see in the ocean today, like Hawaii, were made by volcanoes just like Kavachi. Over millions of years, these underwater volcanoes kept erupting, piling up lava until the land poked out of the water. So, the next time you see an island, think of it as a gift from a volcano. Now, let's swim back to where we started. The volcano under the sea may be hidden from our eyes, but it's always busy shaping the world in ways we can only imagine. It's a reminder that even in the darkest, deepest places, there's life, adventure, and mystery waiting to be discovered. So keep your eyes open and your curiosity alive, because the world is full of surprises, just like the volcano under the sea.